Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you all of the differences and my opinions on all of the different type of detangling brushes that I have. On my live stream, I believe it was last weekend, I think um, I was on live and you guys always help me come up with really cool ideas for videos and I love chatting with you guys on live stream. Like really, that is just so much fun for me. Um, there we came up with the idea of doing this video so I want to say thank you to those who tuned into my live stream. Also I need to apologize because there is dried up product and hair on all of these brushes. No matter how hard I try to get all of this stuff out I just was like forget it. I know y'all can relate so yeah. So this is just going to be my opinion. Also I don't have every single detangling brush on the market. These are going to be kind of like my opinions on the types of detangling brushes that I have. Also be sure to share with me your favorite detangler, your favorite way to detangle. I also want to say it's not mentioned in this video but finger detangling definitely works for a lot of curly girls so that's an option that I don't want you to rule out just because I don't talk about it in this video. But also just share with me in the comment box your favorite way to detangle your curly hair. So if you are interested, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about is these, this is like so old school, these wide tooth comb type brushes. Um, you can get them like this where they are like more narrow and then they will go to like wider hair. <laughs> I love these though for parting my hair, but detangling with the new brushes on the market, I find these don't work for me. Like I used to use this when I was younger, but now I can't detangle with these. They just don't work for me. They don't get all the knots out in my opinion. And I think that they kind of rip your knots out because they don't give at all. Like these ones give a little bit more definitely, but like this, they don't give at all. So I really, I can't use these in my opinion. I just know. So. Okay, so moving on, you guys asked me about these actually if I had them. These are, are really new. I've seen these. Um, this is from Texture Pro by Wet. This is the company, I guess. These brushes I've seen a lot of curly girls use as well. And they are kind of more, t it's weird to explain, but they're kind of more textured. Um, if you guys can see, the bristles on both of these are kind of wavy. So I guess they're aimed more for curly hair. Um, so these are the ones that I have. I only have these two. So if you guys can see this one specifically, like the bristles are definitely kind of like wavy. So that's supposed to be better for your hair. And then these ones, if you guys can see, oh, there's hair and stuff in here. Oh, I'm sorry. But if you guys can tell, like the bristles in here are wavy. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah. So, um... These are supposed to be good for curly hair. So this is kind of like a wide tooth comb. I don't think that this design does anything. So for me, I didn't even, I used it like one time and it just didn't work at all for me. So no. Then this one I actually liked. If you guys saw this in older videos of mine, this is actually a pretty good brush for detangling. These bristles give a lot, like they give. They're very forgiving. Um, and I like when they have these at the end so you don't ruin your scalp. You don't scratch your scalp up. This was pretty good. I liked it. I would actually recommend this because I know you can get this at drugstore, so it's easily, totally easily available. So this was pretty good. I liked it. Next is another throwback, the Tangle Teaser. This is just the one that I have. I have this, I have two. Um, I got, this one's a newer one, I know. But this one, the bristles are kind of like all messed up because I used it for years. I really really like this and this is also great for like smoothing out your hair for um, if you want to do kind of like a braid out or something this is really good it smooths out your hair has a lot of bristles um, it's very very forgiving as well because the bristles are flexible so it kind of works through your knots rather than ripping through them if that makes sense so I really do like the tangle teaser but I do not still use the tangle teaser because I now am obsessed with this is uh, from curl keeper you guys know I talk about this a lot this is the flexi brush and I literally grabbed it out the shower there's tons of hair in it but like I said I'm sure you guys could relate I love this brush so much I kind of feel like it is a larger tangle teaser because the bristles are kind of similar they're more spread out actually but they are also very forgiving the ends of these are rounded so um, 
they're rounded so they won't mess or hurt your scalp. I actually do use this also in the shower to like massage my scalp sometimes too. I like because I feel like it's a little bit more forgiving than the Tangle Teaser because if you guys can see, you can like bend this in and I really like that because it's very forgiving and it'll help really work through your um, knots and then there's the bristles here are different lengths. I'm going to apologize. Let me zoom in, but I'm going to apologize for the uh, amount of hair in this, but hopefully you guys, you know what I'm talking about, right? The bristles here are really, really, really like flexible. They're different shapes, different sizes. I really do really love my flexi brush. I've been using this thing ever since I got it a few months ago and I'm really obsessed. It's great for those with thick hair because look how big this brush head is. And also it has a handle because I hate it with my tangle teaser. My even though it's curved like for your hand, when it's when your hands are wet with product and stuff, this thing I drop this thing all the time and I love how this has a handle. Like tangle teaser, if you're watching this video, put a handle right here. Put a handle right here and you guys you would be a real contender because that's one thing that I hated about this. Last but not least is my Denman brush. This is mine. It, I've had this for a really long time. I now do not use this to detangle. This is actually good for detangling though. I will say that. I do have a video showing with you, sharing with you exactly how you're supposed to detangle with a Denman brush. When I switched to that, I learned a lot with actually having to, like actually you're, how you're supposed to detangle with this. It makes it way easier than what I thought you're supposed to be doing. And with this though, I still use this to style. This, this gives me the best, most defined clumped curls. And I love this for styling. This as well, the Tangle Teaser definitely is great for defining your curls and styling. So this was pretty bomb. I always use this too for detangling. This is like, Detangling and styling where now my routine I detangle with this and style with this so it's just kind of up to you Of course everybody's hair is different my hair is extremely thick and I need something that is going to be big like this to get through all of my hair I find that with this I can use bigger sections than what I normally do so I really am loving this for detangling uh, right now um, I will also leave links to these products also that I find just on the internet. I'll put them down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I have so much time now, so I'm trying to pump out these videos for you before I go back to school. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video.